Hey pilots, Skip, Marty, hey guys. Hey. Mike here, Crash hey. Test Boys. Uh, Marty's got a surprise for us. It's got a new Mike's new airplane. Okay, you guys went on and on it. Went in on it? I can't talk. Went in on this one together? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Actually, Mike, I do. It's for my brother. Oh, it's okay. That's cool. It's still. I got too many now, so he needs to be. What's the tongue depressor? In case the guy passed out carrying carry the thing or something? No. That's how I got that. So, what's in the bag? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's in the bag, guys? What's in the bag? Yeah, man. They threw the box away at the hobby shop, so. Oh, so I it. It was a. There was a big old box. They call it an open bag deal? Did you get an open bag price for it? All right, what's in the bag? Drum roll. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, oh, see? Not too many people have these. I almost guessed by the size of it, and he was talking about it earlier with one, but I wasn't sure. Sweet, guys. Is 1,500 it, twin. Is this a, a Biden fly or a plug fly? Which one is this? The one where the receiver is already, it's already in there. Biden cool. fly. Biden fly? Awesome. Yeah, AX, 3X, blah, blah, blah. It's coming out. <laughs> Oh, here's the front of it. You, oh, you're pulling on it? Sure. We're pulling on it. Okay, you're pull, okay I'm just going to stand up. We're pulling and pushing. <laughs> Let me get out of the way here. Let's see how easy it comes out of the box. Let me grab you, the camera for you guys. Do we want to see another fight with the box? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'd rather fight with the box. Man, remember that last fight with the box? Holy cow, that I'd was the hardest fight. plane. Which one was that? Was that your, your latest, the EC? No, that was his mic, his plane. Which one was your? You're the just Timber X. Timber X. Yeah, that one did not want to come out of its box. That you had to rip wrong. the box open, didn't you? Yeah. Or oh, you guys were hysterical. Well, we got some decals. With some decals, guys. Decals. Stickers. Whatever you you can change call. it any color. It looks. So like. this is gonna be an E flight, EC fifteen hundred. You remind me, guys, to to pull out my timber. It's a 1500. It's, I think it's the only top wing 1500 I've got. Okay, get this up, bro. And we'll do a comparison because the fuselage on this thing is supposed to be absolutely enormous. So we'll see what they look like together. I want to see what it looks like. That looks like a pretty beefy spar set, too, doesn't it? Yeah. Two spars for the rear, too? Must have a real wide tail. Here's your skis. Oh, all right. I'll set these here. For now. I guess that sounds like metal. Well, maybe not. Looky hit, looky guys. We can play on carbon. the snow this year. One solid, one of them is a solid, solid Holy carbon fiber. Holy look at that. Well, one Jeez, thing is man, time. put that up next to your hand. It's a, wow. And you got big hands, dude. Check my hand out compared to yours. Like, you know, like, <laughs> We're Vikings. Yeah. It's got skis. Is it, now, I was curious about these skis, if they were durable. They, they seem like they've got some durability to them. That's a cool prop, dude. I'm just wondering if they get real cold in the snow, if they hit a hard landing, oh, are, no. are they going to break right nah, here? Nah, they're probably not good. You know, we'll find out. They look cheap enough to replace, just in case. you know? You got to put a string to this one. I would say you have to put something on, on here. There's a little hole there. Uh, keep it, maybe a spring. A spring. Spring, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, you got a couple of uh, spinners. Keep, for the keep your tips up, just like skiing. Keep your tips up. Are you getting all of this here? Or should I go expansive on this? Oh, bag of goodies. We'll figure out what that is. Hmm. We'll look into oh, this. Mount, mounting hardware and stuff. Probably. I'm guessing probably for the wings to, the, to hold the them down. for the props, eh? Yeah, I would say. Now, oh, that reminds me. That's one of the things that, that was in the addendum, I think, that we have to address. Don't over-tighten the spinners. They'll crack. And, and you're supposed to put a, set, uh, a, a put, little thing of uh, some kind of glue on Yeah, it. just do, put a little dab of uh, uh, foam, tack. foam tack on the screw and screw it in, you know, hand tight, finger tight. A and you won't have a problem. You? Yeah, a little dab will do you. You won't have a problem hey, with the props. Uh, where are the those spinners, spinners again? The I other know. thing, the addendum was was to make Let's sure that you spinner. you take the motor shafts because I guess they're pretty pretty loose. Hey, Madonna. 
Stop it. <laughs> I knew you were going there. He had to do that, didn't he? Anyway, um, the other issue was, and this happened to Captain Mike. When he was flying the plane, one of his props took off. Because remember like when mine did with yeah. the, uh, the Carbon Z? Well, that's why he said you got to put some kind of foam tack on or something to keep them... Yeah, well, he said okay, for, for this, it's a good idea to, to run the motor, put something abrasive, slightly abrasive on the shaft. So it gives a little grind to it. So there's some undercuts. So that when you put your collet over it and tighten it down, that collet's got something to bite to, you know, and not just something smooth. I hope you guys got that because that's a big tip. I lost a, a prop out there uh, with the Carbon Z Cub with Marty and his boat. Remember that yeah. guy? Yeah. And I, oh, I hope I make it back here because it lost a lot of nose weight Feel when that, heavy this when that happened too. Holy jeez. It, it feels solid. Oh, yeah. That's got the motor and everything. Motor, ESC. I'm sure it's not a solid wing. Hold oh. up the light ones. Let's see if we get a see-through. Or like just in front of the light thing. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. It see, feels pretty damn solid to me. You know? <laughs> it does. We're getting to the good part now. I don't think it's solid. Or I don't think it's 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 hollow, dude. I think that's Maybe a solid not. wing, man. We're that's gonna be to strong. The good part. And with that with that beefy spar, did you see that thing is not hollow? That spar? That's solid one piece. Holy Yeah, sh man. Snakies. You might as well stuck a rebar for a piece of rebar sets for that. Yeah, you can put flaps on it. And that it's was the other circle, that was the other thought. I've seen guys and they didn't I want thought. it comes stock like with this much control. Mm -hmm. And some guys don't want that much control. So you could switch it over so that you have you know this much control and this much flap but then people were saying they were having a problem with you know too much flap well my simple equation is that they've got it set up right now from the factory in the book it's going to give you the rates to make it all perfect for the way it's set up now if you change that setting say they want flaps at 50 percent you know for for takeoff give them 25 percent because you've just doubled that that wing area for flaps, you know what I'm saying? That's magnetic. Nice. That's my just just a thought, guys. It's so it, it's unproven, but I've just been LEDs thinking about it, and that's what I would try. Too. Look yeah. at that; those are nice. Yeah, it's, it's in supposed here. to have some bright lights. It's supposed to even it's got have magnetic a, in it too. It's supposed to even have a tail. Why would it be in mag mag magnetic? That's weird. Because it just it looks like it just pushes in. Oh. We'll get to it in a couple. Of to seconds. keep it on, that maybe that rear spar is metal. And it sticks to that Whoa. to keep oh, it from popping it. loose because they do snap in. Look at it, just plug and play. Plug and play. Make sure all those things are out too. That's the other thing I made sure. When you put them on there, I you want to make sure everything's all the way in. So Gotta some What's people that movie with, with the havoc, fish? they have had to pull a couple of them out a little bit and shim behind it. What's the movie with the uh, the little the little fish that swims around that kind of has these colors? Nemo. Uh, Nemo. Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> Finding like Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to look like Nemo in the box here. Uh -oh. But this is supposed to have a tail light too, Marty. Okay, here it comes. Oh, this is. Let me get back here. Get a proper shot here, guys. Here it comes. Is that all that's in this box? Anything on the box? No, sir. You'll never see an unboxing like this one, guys. Anywhere. But let's get built RC and the crash test boys. Hey, you know what? I like those wheels. I thought that was going to be really just chissy. But I see tons of opportunity there, too. Possibly, you know, cargo bay area. I guess it goes in there pretty deep. We'll see what that looks like. But if if somebody wanted to get a plug and play, I see a possibility of being able to put a, a an electric retract system in there, like off of a airliner or something. I don't know what they do with the front. Probably carve that too. I don't know. There you Where's go. Your other prop? Oh, it's right there. Do it. The GPS. Yeah. Oh, on your uh, yeah. GPS. Go, go, go yeah, pull. your GPS antenna or whatever. It's got GPS too. Goes up there. No, no. no. That's oh, kind of cool. <coughs> but yeah, that's gonna be perfect size for that GoPro. Oh, well, dude. It's made for it. Wonder what? Wonder what holds it in. Are you supposed to glue it in? I don't. I wouldn't want to glue it in. Wedge it in. Strap it in, probably. Maybe. 
Probably just run a little strap from hey, behind Remember the or instructions something. are our friends. Right? Read the instructions. Oh, instructions no, we gotta read the friends. instructions. A big ass plane. Mm -hmm. Big, big move that big for you, plane. sir. Big plane. Big plane. Try not to. Mike, could you move that? Yes, sir. So I don't dent nothing. Yeah, that's heavier. You can lay that stuff probably on top of it. It doesn't look like that much put together either. Dude, you know what? This is about a big round. Is my P47 1700 millimeter fuselage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big round. Mike. <laughs> you caught that. I didn't see that. We got a nice. We are being nice. Yeah. I already got an idea for this window, by the way. What's that? I found a really cool color changing paint that you can put on stuff like that. Yeah. To give it like the, the green, purple, teal, or a gold, red. You know, whatever you want your windshield to kind of glare off at, you know? I say we just build it and fly it, and then we can play with it and, and modify it later. I think Mike's got a point. Because if I bought one, I would do the same thing probably, and I'd want to fly it, see how it flies. Yep. I might want to keep it. It's kind of cool looking just the way it is. I like the Coast Guard. You know, and I like to. I've always liked it. I've always liked the Coast Guard scheme. So, uh, it was kind of, the colors kind of, that's what drove me to the Goshawk at first. Oh, okay. Um... But yeah, otherwise if I get, you know, bored in winter time or something like that, I can start doing the military job on it, making a C-130. That'd be cool. I can't wait to see how many eggs I can fit in the tail. Eggs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> eggs? I was thinking paintballs would be nice. Eggs? That's... Eggs, that's, that's watch out, Skip. How about stink bombs? Ooh. Why, we gotta go negative rotten, right oh, rotten eggs. We just gotta leave them in the why, truck why for a we while. We gotta go negative right away. We just want to drop He some brought up eggs. Yeah, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Tell us what you think out there, guys. Eggs, paintballs, what should we throw Water in here? You know what? I got something perfect I was thinking about. Parachuters? My, my little, uh, my little in Inductrix FPV prone, uh, prone drone. Put uh, my little drone in there and I'll be wearing my FPV goggle. You know, and I'll arm it. Make sure we arm it before you dump me, and then uh, pull up. Pull up, and when you when you dump me, I'm on my own. I'll just Dude, fly really around. Cool. I'll try to chase you if I can. If I if I'm not that I skilled, but I'll try. I can't wait. We need to put it together. It's nice because it all it all unplugs for transport. I didn't think this would fit in my Tahoe, but I think if it just all Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's still 1,500 millimeter wide, so it's going to fit wherever you put a 1,500 millimeter, which is nice. But, man, that be, that fuselage, that is beefy. That is beefy, but it's not that heavy. So this thing is going to be... How many little, channels does this require? It's going to be able to handle a decent Four, payload. Five. Uh, this one, five. This one's six. It's a six channel. Six channel? Six channel because of the AS3X remember. and safe. Yeah. Yeah, they use one of the channels for safe. Otherwise, it's five because you got flaps. You don't have gear, but they're using the gear channel, I believe, for the, uh, for the, bomb, the cargo for door. the cargo door. Now, I saw somebody else do a video where they pre they've obviously went through and redid their switch with that cargo switch because it's just a flip back and forth, and they put it on one of their dials or one of their knobs, and was able to just lower it nicely, you know, like like it should come down, not just bang bang, you know. Yeah. So, just a thought. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, this has been the unboxing. Are we done with this? Anybody else got anything else to no, say? It's, uh, it's really pretty cool. They've got uh, flap hinges and stuff and everything in there. The build of it, I mean, it looks solid. It yeah. really, really does look solid. It looks like they've done a real nice job on this. All the, all the, all the uh, vortex generators and stuff are all in the right places. You don't have to glue them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they got LED covers, nice nice cowls, you know, so, uh, like a softer plastic. Softer so, yeah, softer cowls, so they'll take a little, uh, just a little bit of an impact or a little bump before they The only they thing I think I would have done different if uh, I would have probably bought another set of props just to have them. Because you know how I am. I always buy... And if I recall, I think that goes in and out pretty easy too, doesn't yeah. it? Just a couple of screws right on. Yep. The, yeah, two screws each side. And it's pretty cool how they got yeah. it all plug and play with those servos and everything. Shame on me. I already have a place for this if I take a, my warthog out of the closet and put it together and hang it up. <laughs> and, but then i got to do it in my bedroom. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not married, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. OCD anybody? Anyway. Peace out. Peace out, guys. We all love you. And uh, are we going to do a build or just yeah, surprise them with we're it? We're going to wait for the... We're going to do the build today, too. We got time. All right. We'll, we'll catch you later here, guys, with the build. Thanks for watching. Guys, we forgot about something. Everybody probably wants to see. I, I would do too. Um, here's the inside. <laughs> it's, it's like you could put a small cat in here. But uh, you got a very good battery, man. Venom. When my first, my very, look at that. Limited lifetime warranty. My very first battery I ever bought is still sitting on that counter over there and it still works it's pretty much like the day I bought it it's down oh, right. a little bit on its runtime but it's it still has the pep I guess in you the could go put two batteries or just one single battery in here well they've got it wired right now so you can't screw it up basically it's just one battery I mean you, you could run two batteries if you want to run an adapter yeah. run it in, in, in yeah uh, one parallel. battery one battery be okay. parallel yeah I think that this 14.8 uh, would be the four cell or the one you got, probably perfect for that. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, you, you could, you know, uh, theoretically, you could just go ahead and, and run a battery to each each one. I like running two off of one, because if... Recommended battery... If you're going to lose them, you're losing them both. Recommended battery, 11.1 .1 volt. Ryan, yes. by the way, was able to land his after the prop shot off. He was able to land his dead stick, because... With the prop running on the other side, he said that was a little bit tricky. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So what, that's the inside of it. What, what else? Also, what, else? what we're also going to do is we're oh, going to try and get my GoPro working. I bought this a while ago, and I never done nothing with it. So it's got the 64. Well, you gig. got the you got the nose cone up here for that. Wow. See, I can't even touch that. It's so light it'll move. Right. Hold, so, hold on to the back of that once, buddy. I got you. So I'm going to try and get this working I in the plane. I can't grab the nose. And anyway. It looked like a perfect fit. All right, guys, we won't keep you any longer. See you in a little bit for the build. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Marty's going to operate the door there for you. Running the six channel radio, so it's a, kind of a hard way to uh, you either got to fly it plug and play or fly it with safe all the time because you can't change it. They're using the uh, cargo door for that channel unless you want to fly without a cargo door. Or you would have to have your basic, uh, your safe on with the cargo door up and then when you drop your cargo door, it would be safe off. You could do that too with a six channel DX6. You know, wide turn. That's and I widened that turn. They had it. There was like no turning radius at all whatsoever on that thing, right? Whoa! She tried to fly, Marty. That thing tried to fly, dude. <laughs> I don't know where you were gonna go, but she tried to fly. Oh man! <laughs> it, did, it did. I don't think he was ready for that. Were you ready for that? I just wanted to see what it would do. Well, it lifted its, it's front. It, pretty good. It lift, yeah, it's doing okay. I guess I did okay on that. But I did have to move that, that yoke in. Move it in on the uh, on the steering. Yeah, don't be trying to take off either. And if you are, at least make sure you've got a direction where you can land it in a flat straight line. You couldn't crash it before you would fly it. I know 
Yeah, you goose it like that again, it will take off in this in this, in this breeze. Oh, I just dropped my load. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Oh, to keep it on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you can turn it around probably and that, go way right and then way around. You can turn it that cul-de-sac or all the way up in that one. Yeah, she makes it there. Oh, just barely. I'm going to guess to say this thing's got a ton of power, man. Don't know, don't know. Nope. Off-road. Pedestrian. We are accepting passengers. Alright, let's go home and get our stuff done. Alright, should we try out the retracks? Wanna see the retracks? <laughs> Be a lot of fun dude find a nemo <laughs> thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed we'll get this thing out and flying pretty pretty shortly marty's got to change a couple of terminals for his batteries and, and i got uh, a honeydew list and he's got a honeydew jar list at home so he's got to work on that but uh tomorrow tomorrow we'll probably get it up right yeah okay if we do up. we go early sounds good Thanks for watching, guys. Happy flying and happy Labor Day weekend to everybody out there. Catch you later. So do the batteries.